fellow students have received several emails regarding the difficulties in solving the questions related to file handling. So today I have decided to solve one of the problems for you all. So we will be looking at the problem on fixed length records. So this will be a giveaway and I'm hoping that with these you should be able to solve the other problems yourself. So the first thing you should do when you're faced with a challenge is to understand what the question is stating. So we have a challenge here on fixed length records that states that you will be passed the file name, first name, last name, and a new birthday. Load the fixed length record file, which is stored in a variable called P and search for the first and the last name in and change the birthday to the new birthday, which is stored in a variable called B. So the hint here is that each record is at a fixed length of 16. All right, so that's good. Now, before you start working on any challenge, now you, you need to understand what you're meant to do and understand what is the ex expectation. So we are told that there is a file that we're going to read. So we're going to read from a file. And in this file, it consists of a data set that cons contains the first name, last name, and the birthday. And all we need to do is that we're going to, for any given first name and last name, we're going to swap it with a new birthday. So let's get started. You are given this set of lines of code. This is basically the code written by a student. And in this video, I will be showing you how to solve the problems. And that way you know how to solve your problems better in the future. When you're given a question, you want to break the question into bits. And that way you are creating an algorithm that solves the problem. And so you know why you're getting a wrong answer and you know your expectations basically. All right. so. To do this, we will be use, utilizing the personal playground. And by the way, before I move on, move out of this window, to find the data set that we will be using, it is actually stored in the content folder. You have the text files and you have fixedLength.txt. If you click on it, you would actually see the text file. So this is what is contained in the text file. So I have already copied this text file to my personal playground, which you find here and we have a text file which I have copied here. Now basically to create a text file in your personal playground, you click on file, new file, and you type the name of the file with the extension. And once you click okay, then you have the file in that particular directory. So back to the code. Remember you're given these lines of code. I simply just added comments to make those variables more descriptive. So P stands for the file with data. F stands with the, for the first name, L for the last name, and B for the birthday. This is a much more descriptive variable. All right, cool. The first part of the question stated, you will be passed the file name P, first name F, last name L, and a new birthday B. Now, because I really do not want to pass these names in the, in the command line, I have decided to just define, to store it in a variable. The file name is a string, fixed length dot, dot txt. I'm passing it to this variable called p, just as we have above. And this time around, I chose a first and a last name from the data set. When you look at the data set, you have Adam Smith and the date of birth, in which is formatted in terms of months, day, and year. And we have Theodore Addison and so on and so forth. From this data set, I just picked out uh, Monty for a test. So Monty was initially born 10, 18, in 1980. There could be a situation in which we enter the wrong birthday and the actual birthday, let's say it's 11th, that is November 18, 1981. So we want to change that. Now I have entered that the new birthday should be this. Note that the old birthday is this. We want to update it to the new birthday. So the first thing we need to do is to load the fixed length record file in P. Remember from the text, you can use the width keyword with open P comma R. R stands for read. File here would be the file handler, which is basically an object that points to the file. Now we want to store the contents of the file into a variable called data. And we can make use of the object method called read to read the contents of the, from the file handler. So we have file.read and we store it in data. When you open a file, you have a file handler open, you should remember to also close it. All right, so after closing it, just to test to see that we actually read the content from the data from the file and stored it in data, we could decide to print out to see that we actually read the content. It's a good habit to run your code as you write it and do not wait till the very end before you run your code. So to run this code, you click on Tools, Terminals. 
we have a terminal that looks like a Ubuntu terminal. It's basically a Ubuntu terminal. And to access the content, you type ls. And currently we have three files, fixlength.txt, which is our text file, test.py, which is our script that we are running. So to run the script, we have python, type python3, test.py. And yay! That's what we expected. We expected to see the content of the text file. So great. So we have read the data. So let's move on to the next step. So the next step here is we want to be able to search for the first and last name in the file and change the birthday to B. But first, let's see if let's see how we can find the first and last name in the text file. There are various ways in which you can solve this, but for this, since last week you learned how to use regular expression library, we would use the library to find from the text file, first name that is Monty and last name that is this. The return type of find all is basically a list. It's important for us to know what is being returned by any of the functions that or methods that we are using. Read through this documentation of regular expressions. In here, right now, I just entered this. So I added a comment, pass through data to find F, with, that is the first name with trailing spaces, then L with trailing spaces. You know, the length of the first name is 16 and the length of the last name is 16. So the first and the last name, the total length should be 32. And then we have the birthday that has a length of eight. So you want to understand this so that when you are using the string, the substrings for the string, you are able to locate where the birthday is and you can change that location. Now in this code, the trailing space, there should be a, a space here. If it's found, we want to print it out. What we expect to print out in our list should be this first name and the last name. All right, let's test this out. And you go to the terminal. We're here in the terminal and remember ls to see the files that you have in the terminal. So to run this file, type python test.py and you run it and bravo as expected. So we have Monty, the last name. So now if we check the length of this, it should be 32. Since we, we are told that from the question that the length of the first name and the last name is 16. So you can go back to your script and type length for the length is len. Because we want to find the length of the first item in the list, it should be zero. So to index into a list, use the, the square brackets. And let's run this again. And bravo, we have 32. So we are on track. We are proceeding just fine. We can try to find the, the starting point of the first name in the data set. And we know the last, the ending point. So plus 32. And then we can know the location of the birthday that we want to swap. Usually ensure that you're using the same name. So usually when I create a variable, you simply copy the variable to reuse. So that way you wouldn't have each problems like name error, meaning that a variable was not defined. And even though you thought you actually defined it, run your code to see if you have what you expect. So 80 means that in our text file, Monty is on position 80. And so 80 plus 32 would give us the location of where our birthday is which we want to swap. And so once we have this location, we can easily swap it. I believe now you can all see the solution from here. Let's locate our bet day. Bet day will be equals to data from the data. So beginning char plus 32. So that will be char. We start 32 in, char, in the variable called char. And then to what? Beginning char plus char, that is plus 32. We are just at the same location, but plus eight because there is a, the, your, the birthday we're told has a length of eight. You simply say plus eight. We have stored the birthday in the variable birthday and we can simply print out to see that we have exactly what we expect. And so remember the old birthday is 10, 18, 1980. And I would comment this other print statement because I don't need it anymore. Go back to your terminal and you run this and bravo, we have the birthday 10, 18, 1980 as we expected. So we are doing just fine. Now we want to replace it. So how do we replace it? You simply use the data object here has a method called replace, which you can use. So you have data dot replace. And what do we want to replace? We want to replace this birthday that we have just retrieved with what? With B, with our new birthday. And I'll store this in the same variable called data. Once we do that, the last thing to do is to, is to then save the file. So we want to save the new updated data into the text file. We have this, this should replace it. And so once we've replaced it, it's stored in the variable called data. We can decide to print it 
out to test to see let's check this out print data so before we write to the file let's see that if we actually have everything done correctly so you go to the terminals again and you run your code yay as expected it's no more 10818191980 but now 11181981 it's as simple as that now let's do the last thing to save the file, we basically want to write to the text file. We want to update our text file because currently we haven't updated our text file. So you should update your text file. How do you do that? What do we want to open? This file called fixedlength.txt and we want to this time write to the text file. I'm going to create a file handler and I'll call it file. File dot this time around we use the method called write because we write into the text file. And what are we writing? We're writing the data, our data to our text file. Once it's written to the text Text file then you should close the file handler file dot close let's run this look at it, the text file right now it's 10 18 19 80 so i'm going to close this right now let's and open it again for you to see confirm it's still 10 18 19 80 good so we go to the terminal again to run the code and this time around before i run the code i do not want to print it out so comment this then run the code Good. Let's open the text file again. We had this already opened and see it's now 11 18 1981. It's been updated. Bravo. So the old bad day was this, but now we have the new bad day updated in the text file. That is how to solve the problem of the fixed length problem. That is basically how to solve it. And now you can use this idea in solving the other problems. Let me know if you have any further questions. I look forward to discussing with you in the discussion board and answering all your emails. Bye for now.